Okay, we live. Okay, this is Awkward Occurrence or Awkward Entertainment. Missing Idaho siblings. Our reporter Marcus Moore tracked down their stepfather, Chad Dabo, in Hawaii. The mom is behind bars, and Marcus joins us now from Kauai. Good morning, Marcus. Uh, George, good morning. For months, relatives and police have asked a very simple question. Where are the children, and are they okay? Uh, Valo and her husband have remained silent this entire time. We found Chad Dabo at a gas station here, and we asked him the same question. Are the kids okay? Um... This morning, Chad Daybell breaking his silence to ABC News. Is there anything that you would like to say? To I was looking at his license plate, K E A 22 Like, I don't do the Gematria stuff because I don't fuck with the calculator. I look at the numbers, but I don't mess with the calculator. So, the people who do the numbers, license plate, K E A 22 Refusing to answer questions about the whereabouts of his missing stepchildren, 17-year-old Tylee Ryan and 7-year-old JJ Vallo. And can you tell me, Mr. Daybell, are, are the kids are the kids okay? On Monday, Daybell was spotted visiting the Hawaii jail, where his wife Lori Vallo is being held on a five million dollar bail. Lori Vallo, seen in this recently unearthed video, competing for Mrs. Texas in 2004, face on Earth video. All of a sudden, they got an Earth video. You know, you know this is. Do do. Possible extradition to Idaho and criminal charges related to the disappearance of her children last September. I hope there is justice and I hope the children are found. And another twist a court document alleging Vallo's niece, Melanie Boudreaux, knows where Tylee and JJ are, but is refusing to cooperate with police. In the document, filed as part of an ongoing custody battle, Melanie's ex husband, Brandon, seen here in this photo, also alleges Boudreaux is involved in a cult where numerous members, adults and children alike, have been being killed off like flies. Police say they searched Boudreaux's residence, located right next door to Vallow's home in this Idaho apartment complex back in November as part of their investigation. Chad, Lori, can you tell me where your kids are? For months, questions have swirled about Vallow's alleged involvement in her children's disappearance. Police say the 46-year-old lied to them about J.J.'s whereabouts when they conducted a welfare check last fall. And that she and Daybell left town the next day, fleeing to Hawaii, where she was arrested last Thursday. Police say Daybell received at least $430,000 in life insurance money after the death of his wife, Tammy, which is now under investigation. Authorities allege that was enough money for Daybell and Vallow to, quote, travel and hide from law enforcement. We reached out to Vallo's niece, Melanie Boudreaux, about the allegations in that court filing. We have not yet heard back from her. Time Vallo right now being held on that five million dollar bond. Her lawyers will once again ask a judge to reduce that bond during a hearing scheduled for this afternoon. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel and don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching. There are new developments in the search for those missing children in Idaho. Mother Lori Vallow has been extradited back to Idaho, and tonight the FBI now releasing new images of her children. Here's ABC's Marcus Moore. The FBI today releasing new images of missing Idaho kids Tylee Ryan and J.J. Vallow. One image showing 17-year-old Tylee hoisting her little brother J.J., another showing their mother Lori smiling. Authorities say they were captured September 8th at Yellowstone National Park. Investigators believe Tylee hasn't been seen since. And J.J. last seen on a home security camera playing in a neighbor's yard in late September. 
Lori Vallow under a cloud of suspicion surrounding her children's disappearances, spotted today on an airport tarmac as she was being extradited from Hawaii to Idaho. Authorities say she and her current husband, Chad Daybell, retreated to Hawaii where they've remained silent. Hey, Mr. Daybell, are, are the kids are the kids okay? Daybell later telling ABC News, quote, the kids are safe. It is all relatives of the missing children are hoping for. There is somebody here that knows where those kids are. David Vallow is expected to go before a judge tomorrow in Idaho to face criminal charges related to her children's disappearances. Her attorneys say the accusations against her are mere speculation. David. All right, Marcus, thank you. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching. Okay, this is going to get into the movie. roughly about the same time a week ago. Yeah. Yeah. And Kevin, you found both of them and called the police to help them out. Yeah, that's correct. If it's not too much trouble, I'd like you guys to go around and tell your story so we can figure out who did this. One second, because I don't like how the audio is off. And I will ask Prism Studio why they fucking s*** the audio. I sat down on the bench where I usually do the feed the birds.
but somebody hit me on the head with a rock. I remember waking up in a basement and I was tied up. My hands and feet were all tied up. And I heard him coming down, so I quickly got my hands out. But then he came in the room, so I pretended to be unconscious again. I remember waking up in a field and I saw a friend who had passed away. and the next thing I remember is waking up in a hospital. Kevin, can you recall the story of you finding these two? So I was out in the woods by myself taking pictures for um, a local wildlife project that I'm doing. Everything was going well until I heard some gunshots. And like, I know that nobody hunts out in the woods that I was in, so like, I was definitely concerned. And then that's when I decided to just pack my things up and come up another day. And I was walking over to my car and I saw like another silver car parked really badly in like the dirt, which doesn't make any sense because there was a parking lot right next to it. So like I went in and I checked to see like what was going on in there. And I just saw sand and she was like all bloody. So like I got in and I checked her pulse and um and I saw she was still slightly alive. I took her out and I put her into my car to take her to the hospital. And I was driving to the hospital when I saw Bobby in the street. something going on here. I need to talk to the police. So I called 911 and then the police came with an ambulance and they took Bobby and Sam to the hospital. And then over the next couple days, as they were getting better, I checked up on them to see how they were doing. Can any of you describe him? Uh, I could really see his face because he had a mask on, but he was about 6'2 um, and he had a white Jeep. He wasn't wearing a mask when he attacked me. I just remember that he had blonde hair that was kind of long and blue eyes. Okay, we're starting an investigation now. Thank you for your time.
That one sort of sucked. That one kind of sucked because I did not wash it. I did not wash that one. Usually I don't watch the movies. I plan to watch with other people because I'm going to be surprised by the movie. But that sucked. But near death experiences, when you die, you die. You don't see stuff. You, you go unconscious until Jesus Christ comes. Then when Jesus Christ comes, he judges. You know, you get the whole period or whatever, whatever, revelations. But he judges. Whoever goes to hell goes to hell. It's going to be a lot of people going to hell. A lot of people you see on TV. Sure, a lot of people you see on YouTube. How about that? A lot of these people in these, these crime cases that call themselves parents. What is this? They call themselves parents. I think I saw that one, even this one. What does, what does Jasha mean? What's the definition of Jasha? Or G G Aisha G Aisha. G E I S H A. Then this lucid dreaming. <gasps> now, Chad Daybell is a cultist, like most of the people you see on TV in real life are cultists. You got a lot of occultists on YouTube. You got some true crew true crime channels that are occultists. Uh you got a true crime channel that pretends to be a Christian, but she's really not a Christian. She'll throw a vibe burst here and there. In her video, but she's a real hypocrite. She's not really a Christian. You can tell by her music and by her pictures. And if you're not knowledgeable of what's going on, you won't know that she is a cult a cult member. But Chad Daybell, um, death is, near death experience. More than likely, he um, worships the devil. His mind is unprotected, so God does not protect Chad Daybell's mind. And, you know, people who do witchcraft, crystals, this, that, and third, they're very psychotic. They can could become very psychotic. They can see things that aren't there, but they are real. 
The reason you can't see things that uh, these psychotic people see is because you aren't messing with witchcraft. You aren't messing with demons. But the things they see are real, but you can't see them. And that's why a lot of people in these news stories look sick. Like Letitia Stouse looks sick. Landon Hoyt looks sick. Al Stouch looks sick. Um, Chad Daybell don't look as sick as Letitia. But at a certain point, these witches get real sick. These witches, wizards, and warlocks get real sick. You can see it on their face. Either from drugs or whatever, but they get sick. Oh, Geisha. Shadows. Look at that one eye. But the end times are already here. They don't tell you how long the end times are going to take to finish up. But the end times are already here. It's just not going to happen overnight. End times. It's going to be a period of time. So. It's going to take some time.
Just had to take some time. Like the Bible doesn't say when Jesus comes back, but the end, well, we're in the end time. But it doesn't say when it's gonna happen when Jesus comes. And I gotta read up on all the beginning, middle, end, or end times in the Revelations. I'm kind of slacking on that. All right, I thought I downloaded three films. I was only gonna play one film. We seen that one. And we've seen a lucid dreaming. That's the S edition for Chad Daybell. That's well, with Lord Daybell. That's more on Lord Daybell. What uh, am I looking for? What am I looking for? Let me do this, I guess. I guess not everybody. I gotta get a better understanding. Now, this is just talking about an article talking about Chad Daybell. Um, his son talked to one of Chad's friends. So let me read this. A few weeks after Tammy died, they dug up Tammy's body some months ago. And they're still looking for a body. They, not a body. They're still looking for the autopsy to come back. It's been months. Like, this is TV news. Um, a few weeks after Tammy died, a close friend of the Daybell children tells East Idaho News about a conversation um, he had with one of their sons. She asked that we not use her name but provide verification that the conversation occurred. And basically they were talking. The son told the lady, my dad remarried a widow, and the lady couldn't believe what the son was saying. Can't take that long. My dad is not bad. Dude, your dad is going to hell. Lord Valo is going to hell. Um, a lot of people you think are innocent are going to hell. Uh, any questions before I got? I know it's only one person. <laughs> any questions before I end this? But I thought that short film would be better about um, near-death experiences. I got to... Next time, I'll actually look at the film. I didn't look at it because I wanted to look at it when I do the presentation. But it looked like a, it had a good grade, so I thought it would be good. It sucked. It sucked. That film sucked. Yeah, this one sucks. This one we just saw sucks. That's just them telling stories. Like, you don't, you're not dead if you're seeing stuff. You're just not dead when you see stuff. Um, what else was it? Yeah, Chad Daybell, wife, Octasi. Letitia Stouts. Back in Colorado, there's really nothing going on with that anymore. I know it's a crime did a podcast. I'm gonna do my outro and I'm gonna get up out of here. But again, YouTube is playing around with people accounts, yo. Like when your account get hacked, they tell you, well, we can't let you access your account. That lets me know that YouTube is somewhat going into people's accounts and fucking with them. If YouTube tell you and you verify you who you are, you are who you are. If you have AdSense, the AdSense is going to your bank account with your name on it. And YouTube tells you we can't get into your hack account. YouTube is lying to you. Okay? And YouTube is going to hell themselves. The owners of YouTube are very wicked. They're going to hell themselves. Mark my words. Okay, we live. Okay, this is awkward occurrence for awkward entertainment.
Ten for seven. And let's remember, nothing is more exciting than the death of an illusion. It's not sad that the illusion over your mind has been put to death. It's exciting to wake up and realize what's real and what's not. I used to be an awkward occurrence, awkward entertainment, and I will see you in the next video.